Hi, welcome to Money School. Why the yoga mat? This is about first homes and first mortgages. True, but we're going to start with stress relief first. Breathe, everyone. <sighs> <laughs> Buying a first home and getting that huge loan called a mortgage can be stressful. Unless you learn to manage it by talking to a coach. Sit down with a Libro coach as soon as you start thinking home ownership is in your future. And one of us will get you on the right path. That path is made up of small steps. The down payment, the pre-approval, the mortgage itself, the closing surprises, and living with it. Here are a few basics. The down payment, it's what you pay using your own money toward the total price of the home. Your mortgage covers the rest. The minimum down payment is 5% when you also get CMHC insurance. That makes it a little easier for first-timers. The recommended down payment is 20%. That's a challenging threshold. So here's a thought. Find your own comfort zone. Be a great saver. Aim for somewhere in between the lowest cost of entry, 5%, and the recommended down payment of 20%. Set a goal and start saving toward it at least two years ahead of time. If you're paying rent already, factor that number into your math. Make the total as close to what you might have as a mortgage payment, just to get the feel. Practice makes perfect. It also generates discipline and an additional savings nest egg. Then there's the home buyer plan. Right. The government allows you to take up to $25,000 out of RRSPs tax-free for your down payment. If you have a partner, they can remove $25,000 too. Thanks again, Government of Canada. Okay, step two on the path to home ownership is the pre-approval. This is where a lot of people get the advice they want instead of the advice they need. The simple guideline is buy a home where your total monthly payments will not exceed 32% of your household income. You can stretch it further. But you end up in the deep end. As in, over your head. The advice you need is to avoid putting yourself in that position. Take your time. Get pre-approved for a mortgage you can afford before you start shopping for a home and fall in love with one you can't afford. Sit down with your Libro coach for the advice you need. We'll hold the rates for you while you shop and be there to help you celebrate. Which brings us to the mortgage itself and a few more basics. Fixed rate mortgages are exactly that. The rate doesn't change for the entire mortgage term. Variable rate mortgages do change, going up and down in small amounts depending on the market. The type of rate that's right for you depends on your risk tolerance. Get advice that is bias-free. Put yourself first. Open mortgages can be renegotiated anytime. Closed mortgages are locked in for the duration of the legal agreement. Advice for reducing the cost of a mortgage is simple. The longer you pay, the more you pay. So get short. Here's the comparison to remember. A $200,000 mortgage at 4% over 25 years will end up costing you $315,612. The same mortgage at 4% over 20 years will cost you $25,573 less. Twenty-five grand saved. That goes a long way toward a child's education. I was actually thinking a few cruises. Moving on. Other mortgage reduction tips revolve around doubling up payments or making anniversary payments. Both ideas reduce the principle, bringing mortgage freedom closer. Okay, step four on the path is to always be prepared for the closing surprises. Breathe, exhale, go slowly. That's your advice? Actually, no. Talk to a Libro coach. Your coach has seen and been through more first-time home closings than most. They've seen all there is to see. So you'll get the help you need to remain unsurprised through the process. Be prepared for between 3 and 5% of the value of your home showing up in surprise costs. We're talking thousands of dollars. 1% is the land transfer tax alone. Legal fees, utility hookups, the cable guy, and so on. There are always costs. That's why a Libro coach always recommends a more practical approach to buying first homes. Which brings us to the fifth and final step. Living with your new home. Living with weekly dates at the hardware store, the garden center. The man cave center. Living with your new home means living within a budget. It's going to be tight for year one. That's a fact, but it gets easier. Every month gets easier. That too is a fact. You'll find room to save so the bumps in the road won't be as shocking. You'll get in the groove. And home ownership will remain one of the best investments most of us will ever make. Ohm sweet ohm. I'm just going to breathe. Thanks, everyone. 